Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and this is Grav. I'm continuing on from episode one and plan on building some armor this time around and maybe expanding my base camp if I get a chance once I've got this little pesky bug out of the way. He's gonna do a little explosion so I best back off. Nice little timer there. Sometimes the timer only counts from one, giving you more or less no time at all to get out of its way. Come on. Oh, nice. Level up. Well, I was actually level zero before that happened, so I made two levels in one go there. Nice. Well, look at that. Some people in my camp. Okay. Well, these seem to be selling the same things as the vendor bots, even though this is supposedly a quest giver, but not too bad. They could be handy. I still haven't got any Element X though, so I can't be buying them. Let's go and see what this guy wants. Oh, same again. Okay, so that's it. Oh, sorry. I pressed Q there by mistake. I was meant to press E. He doesn't seem too offended though. Sorry about that. I'm still a little bit short on resources to actually construct anything more on the campsite of things. On Yeah, I want an armory, but I need more fossil and more woods. And I can't really build any more rooms yet either. I really should have built, built this room here though up on a support structure. But not to worry, it doesn't look like I can, can dismantle it. So I'll have to put up with it as it is for now. Yeah, we can't dismantle any of our items unless you guys know of a way of doing that. There doesn't seem to be any way of doing that other than perhaps destroying them. Now, as I am level two, hopefully it won't take much longer to get the extra leveled. I remember there being a loot crate back a little bit further which we bypassed earlier and you saw in episode one and I need to be level three in order to open that so hopefully killing a few more of these guys should get me to level three and then we can head back there and have a look at that crate and hopefully there's something nice in there and some of the monsters attacking each other again over there that seems to be quite a common occurrence now these sparkling slimes seem quite easy to kill but they don't seem to drop anything of particular interest. The monsters are meant to drop blueprints, or at least occasionally drop... Oh, not planned. Close enough attention there. Got a bit of damage. Yeah, the monsters are... Oh, no, I speak too soon. There was a blueprint. I wonder what it was. Uh, well, combat knife and multi-tool are already there. Armour is the same. Stims. Oh, blueprints. Invised him. Didn't I already have that? Perhaps not. I guess obviously not. Okay, well, that shows that these monsters do indeed drop blueprints, so hopefully soon we'll find some good ones. Right, the level area seems to change there. I'm back in East Lock. Easter lock three to four. Now this is Easter lock five to six. So I'm probably a little bit low to take on any of the monsters here, but I'm guessing that if I do kill a monster of a higher level, there's a chance of it dropping a higher blueprint. Like this big thing here is three levels above me, so I'm probably doing something stupid here, but maybe if I can keep out of his reach I keep strafing left and right and dodging his blows I might be able to beat him yeah like that I missed that blow he missed me there and he missed me again so let's keep hacking away at him and maybe I can beat him this way although oh, I thought he got me there but he didn't although I don't seem to be doing too much damage to him do I oh blimey yeah he took about a third of my energy away there in one hit, so I think I'm going to struggle with this. I'm going to keep going anyway. 
haven't died yet, so maybe, maybe isn't. Oh no, didn't make it. Yeah, I dropped that ball again. Dropped all my resources, and I'm not sure exactly where I was, so I probably won't be able to find them again. It was over this way. Nope. I know I was amongst a cluster of trees, but that's not going to be of much help. Then again, I was in a higher level area, wasn't I? Wasn't it five to six? I'm not sure what this level is I'm actually in right now. Let's see how, what I actually did drop. Oh, I've still got some materials left. And I've still got some resources left, but not many. So I guess you drop a percentage of whatever it is. Whatever it is you're holding. Well, not to worry. Wooden fossils aren't too hard to find. I love the environments here. Lovely. Oh, what's that? It looks like a some sort of man-made structure up here, or a radar installation, or something like that. You see that? I wonder if we can get in there. Oh, a lot higher level here though, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Yeah, there's a doorway there. I reckon I can get in there. It's probably one of the game's uh, buildings or dungeons, I suspect. Unless we need a key or something to get in. Nope, we're in easy. Oh dear. More fighting going on in here. A lot of... Monsters. Oh, uh, oh no. Get me out. Ah. <sighs> How many there? Oh, I can't take all five at once. Yeah, it's shouting in my ear. Let's see what I dropped this time. I'm not going to be able to go back in there and retrieve that if I did drop anything. Yeah, so again, I dropped a percentage of what I had. I had about five or six wood last time, so you do drop quite a fair chunk when you get killed. Fair enough, there should be a penalty. Make things... Oh, what's that? Just a lens flare, perhaps. I thought something was glowing over there, but... Maybe it's just a flare of the setting sun. You know, I really do wish that the grass didn't clip through the base's floor, the floor of the room. And it's one reason alone just to raise the rooms up off the ground, just to avoid that. So what next? I guess we'll run out a bit more. So I'm going to have to replace some of those resources I've lost, which means a fair bit of gathering fossils and a fair bit of gathering wood. But that's fine. I think a good idea, it would be a good idea to build some armour as these monsters, anything other than these slimes, seem to be making a rather quick and easy job of me. Also, a better weapon probably wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? But let's stick to these slimes, they're quite easy to kill. When they don't explode like that, they do, do hit quite hard when they do finally hit. Ah! Now, this is what we want, level 3. So, there was a loot crate around here somewhere. If I remember, it was by a red structure. Let's just get this um, fossil stuff while we're here. And then I'll have a look for that red spire. Because I know for a fact there was a loot crate below it. And I needed to be level 3 to get it. I really hope there's something nice in there. Oh, there we go. That's where we want to head. And there's the crate. Now, I gather that I can loot that by using the mortar tool I've got currently equipped. I do hope that the level requirements weren't referring to my tool. Am I referring to me? Yeah, they're referring to me. There we go. Let's see what we can find. Is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? It's going to be something good, it's got to be. Look at this, it's taken a while to get into it. Come on! Seriously need to upgrade this tool. Right, whole bunch of stuff. Oh, look, all that text floated away. I can't even see what that is. Hmm, 
Well, I I'd assume it's some materials. Yeah, a whole load of materials. Good. That's what I want. And I think there were some resources in there as well. Yeah, a load of gems, a load of ore. Oh, and some Element X. Brilliant. I can't remember how expensive those pets were now. I think they were around 150 elements. So I'm probably still a bit short for that. But that's not bad. You know, aside from the visuals, something else that really stands out to me in this game is the soundtrack. Very, very relaxing and some nice tunes going on there. That right there was one of the downsides though. There sometimes seems to be some performance issues and I'm not really sure why that is. I do have quite a decent spec computer. I'm running on a GTX 780. So I'm sure it's not that. I have only got 8 gigs of RAM so it's possible it's that. Although that said I've played a hell of a lot of other games and never really had any issues with RAM as yet so possibly it's just an optimization issue considering we are playing early access but then again from what I understand this game has only been in development for five months and I'm seriously impressed with the quality of it very very good There's, oh you can keep away he's gone yeah as a, I've seen games that have been in development a lot, lot longer that are of far lower quality than this. There might be some caves around here somewhere. Oh, that looks like some more element X there off to the left. And I do need a harvester there. You know, there's a... I keep saying... Yes, there definitely is something there. I thought earlier it was some lens flare off the setting sun or something, but that looked more like a torch or something, didn't it? definitely definitely something over there I'm gonna head out that way and check it out just so long as it's not a trap of some type sometimes I get in the habit of checking with six I don't like those bugs that have a tendency to sneak up on you and just explode right out of the blue yeah I don't know how I could have missed that big glowing flashlight over there it's huge and very obvious there's something there. I wonder what it is. Could be anything. Oh, someone's got... Oh no! What's this say? It's my loot! This must have been where I died earlier. Oh great, that certainly... Oh! Where is that? He was right next to me. Now that would have been a laugh, wouldn't it, if I'd lost some more loot right next to my previous load of loot. That would have been two blobs to pick up. No more of those things around here, thank goodness. Well, I think it makes sense to get back to my camp and build an armoury then. And we can get some better armour. It's only a matter of time before I get blown to bits again otherwise. Certainly... A fair amount of element X laying around though. I guess that means I can leave harvesters on it. I don't know if the harvester is a tool or a bit of placeable equipment. But we'll find out soon enough I imagine. Some floating rocks there. Looks a little bit like Pandora doesn't it? But no unobtainium or navi here. Where's my camp? <laughs> oh, well, I know it's near that structure there, so at least that's a good serves a good reference point. I do have a tendency to get lost in these sort of places, and we've got no compass, and we've got no map, and I've got no beacon at my base. Here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna have a look. Uh, building a armory. I probably should have built an armory first anyway, anyway, rather than the factory. I want to check though if I can build some type of compass or beacon of some type to allow me to find my way back to my camp easily. It doesn't seem anything like that. But I suspect I'm going to need some fossil blocks and wooden planks to carry on. I wonder if I upgrade it might give me more options to construct stuff. The resource requirements are quite high for the upgrade though. 
yeah, and I'd rather use those materials for something else at the moment. So we'll leave that, I think. Nope, no beacons, no compass. Well, let's have a look at the armory then in that case. Where do I want to place it? Let's put it, should we put it next to the factory or should we put it in the building? I don't want rooms, I want crafting and armory. Always oh, glitch it out. No, we don't want to put you there. I thought I'd placed that then. I thought I'd placed another factory by mistake. Yeah, the armory's glitching a little bit. Obviously it doesn't want to be placed there. Maybe I'll place it right next to my factory. It's about here. I don't want crafting. We want that. And... Let me put it... Not enough space. It's a nice big sign. Let's put it over the other side then. Why not? Right here I do, right next to the uplink. Oh, do I hear? Yes. Ah, has he destroyed something? Hang on, have I just placed a another factory? This should have been an armory, shouldn't it? I got distracted by that. <laughs> I got distracted by that bug. Looks like that factory is half knackered now anyway, that bug dealt some damage to it. Alright, I want an armory. Have I still got enough resources? Yes, I've still got another, enough resources. Where are we going to put him? We're going to put you here. Look at the cute little face on him. There we go. That's a little bit better. Bit of a shame because I can't dismantle the other factory, but... Never mind. So I can make a ah, multi tool mark two. A rotted wood club, which I guess is better than a knife and a pistol and some rotted wood armour. Right, they need wooden planks. I've got wood at the moment. The wooden planks I can make at the factories. So wooden plank. I need ten bits of wood for one plank and how many planks do I need? Is that four planks, four planks, four planks, four, four. Uh, so I'm going to need some more wood. Which, funnily enough, is easily obtainable. Now, generally speaking, on these type of games, I don't like to harvest all the resources too near my own camp because it has a tendency to make the area look pretty ugly. I mean, you look around here and you see all these trees and the various other resources and it adds to the ambience of the area. And if I remove too many of these, it might actually ruin that, but I don't mind taking a couple. You know, I'm also going to have to wait and see to see if these things grow back. I notice you do leave a marker behind when you harvest something. And when these trees are actually collapsed, it leaves a stump behind. And that stump will say harvested by, in this case this is harvested by obsidian. And that allows you potentially to track down other players. As if you see those stumps that have been harvested by other people, you'll know that someone else has been in that area. And someone else might even be living in that area. So that opens up a lot of other possibilities. Look at that sky. Oh, that's beautiful. I do like that. The camera's a little bit awkward angle to actually look up at the sky at night. A lot of moons up there as well. Very nice. Right, I think I've got enough wood. If I haven't got enough wood to build the entire armour set, I can at least build one piece of it. So, how comes I've got two factories now? Two um, armouries, I mean. I didn't think I placed that other armory, so... Oh, oh, he's going to blow that NPC up. And my camp along with it. Oh, well. We get some pieces back anyway. I'm going to need some fences up or something. That's a nuisance. Well, I've gone from two factories and two armories to 
no factories and two armories. I think we'll get rid of one of these, seeing as it seems you get at least some of the resources back when they're destroyed. I don't want a whole collection of blowing factories and uh, armories around. I'm just a bit hesitant because I'm not sure if this is a way to destroy them. Yeah, the health of the factory, the health of the armory is actually decreasing a little bit. So I'll keep smashing at it until it's gone and then start again. Pesky bugs. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. You need to hit harder. These bits of armor can't be that strong. A bug took it out in more or less one hit. Almost destroyed my entire camp. As long as there's not any others around here. I've just had a thought. I didn't check if my uplink has been destroyed, and it has. So I really don't want to die out here without that. So there we go. Another uplink. So I pretty much lost everything there. Yeah, that's working. Back to bashing the armory. Nearly gone. A few more hits. Yeah. Well, I'm healing. While I'm bashing away at the armory. Come on, come on. Now, boom. I don't know what sort of percentage I'll get back on the resources, though. It didn't seem like I got the full amount back. Not to worry. If I can destroy this. I don't like this building. No, you're too strong. No, I can't destroy the building. Okay, so we need... A factory again, don't we? Nope, not an armory, a factory. Doing all this is really starting to eat. Oh, I hear someone growing up again. Oh dear, now I've lost another factory. <laughs> oh dear, this is crazy. Well, my uplink is fine. Grrr. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. You probably remember if you watched episode one that I said I was going to build my camp near some sort of structure such as a cliff or near the entrance to a cave or something like that. And that was to precisely prevent these sort of issues. Well, let's put up another armory. I could really perhaps take this as an opportunity to move my entire camp, but I'm here now and I've got the uplink and I don't suppose I've got many resources left. So now we're hacking away at the factory. We've done an armory. Let's destroy the factory. The reason I'm destroying it is because I really don't want to leave a factory here with only a small percentage of health because it's obviously not going to take too much for it to, to be destroyed otherwise. I'd rather something that's got full health and can at least take some damage. And I haven't got a repair tool or anything like that right now. So this is going to have to be the way it is. You know, I'm sure it's those NPCs attracting the bugs over, and as soon as it looks like all those NPCs are now gone, hopefully the creatures will keep away for a minute. They seem to be targeting the NPCs rather than me for some reason. That's because they know I've got a knife and I hit back. Well, that's one way to spend the night, isn't it? And it's now daytime again. And we need another factory. And I haven't got enough ore. Hmm. Going in circles here now. Well, I guess that means I need to go and look for some more ore. Although, the downside to that is I really haven't seen many pieces of ore laying around. I'm going to check to see if I've got enough resources to build some armour anyway. Perhaps I have got enough. Six wooden planks. Well, I can build a rotten wooden helmet. Oh, look at that. Lovely. That is brilliant. Uh, no no more planks though, so I can't build the rest of this wonderful looking outfit. Very nice costume. Very flattering. Oh, and a lovely little face on it too. Look at that. <laughs> mm. Well, I think that's as good a place as any to cut the episode. And I'll be back with episode 3 soon. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time. This has been Obsidian Ant, 
signing off.